Welcome to my channel. My name is Marlies and I'm going to make some grungy cards today with the new distress color from Tim Holtz, Lost Shadow. I am working on a mixed media paper and I'm starting with a distress ink and a blending tool. Pick up some color with the blending tool and add it to the paper in a circular motion. I am holding up two papers close to the camera, one white and one with the last shadow. Even though the last shadow is a very light color, you can see the difference between the white and the last shadow. Time to add another layer and for this one I am using the Distress Oxide pad. The first phase of this project is all about experimenting. You want to know how the color will look on the paper. You want to know how your mediums will work and react with each other. And uh, it will all contribute to a new knowledge. So you must keep in mind that not every layer will be perfect or the way you want it to be. But just keep going and add layers and layers on top of each other. Think about dabbing, spraying, uh, adding some water and just turn your paper like I'm doing right now just to see how the ink color will flow. Also make sure that in between your layers you dry the paper. For some extra contrast I'm going to add an extra color. In this case I'm going to brayer on brushed corduroy. When you think that one of the darker colors is overtaking this project, you can tone it down with a little bit of paint and a brayer. The last shadow distress paint was added to some white gesso. White gesso you might think, well I love the texture that it gives to your paper. I like to make such a background on a bigger paper, a 4 size or maybe bigger, because then you have more opportunities to work with it and cut it into the pieces that you desire. Uh, right now I am going to uh, cut some tags and some little cards. For this video I will concentrate on making some grungy little cards. The tags will be shown in another video. Because the background of the cards is quite plain, light of color, I'm going to add some stamps. To do so I am going to use the stamp set from Tim Holtz Faded Type. For the ink color I chose Hickory Smoke because it will fit the shades of Lost Shadow. The background that I created is a great guidance for your color scheme. It will tell you what kind of colors you can use in your stamping. So right now we use the Hickory Smoke and also in the background you can see some brown tones. And that is also the reason why I'm going to stamp right now with the Ground Espresso. 
Now let's randomly add some less shadow embossing glaze, starting with swiping the embossing ink pad across the card. You do not have to put a lot of pressure on the ink pad on the card, just a little bit, and then sprinkle the embossing glaze on top. When you see some areas are too thick uh, for your liking, then scratch away a bit with your fingers. I would also like to add some extra color to the cards and I'm using the Distress Ink Vintage Photo and also the Distress Oxide Pad Black Sooth. While doing this I am keeping in mind I do want to see the last shadow color so I'm adding just a little bit on the sides and on the edges. To give the cards a little bit more interest and a little focal point, I am using the Tim Holtz stamp set and thermology. I am stamping with the Black Archival Ink Black Sooth and on top I will sprinkle some hickory smoke embossing glaze. The embossing glaze needs to be heat set to stay on the card, so do not forget that. To keep everything in the same color range, I got out my crayon, the Gathered Twigs. The crayon is perfect for adding more texture, because remember we also added some gesso and some embossing glaze before, so the crayon will grab perfectly on those raised areas. You can rub the crayon directly onto the paper and then smear it with your fingers, but you can also put the crayon on your craft sheet, wet it just a little bit and then make some stains on the cards. Only and just the cards are a little bit simple to my liking, so I'm going to add something on the top of the cards. I am starting with the black craft stock that I sanded down a little bit. After sanding I folded the paper double so you will have a little rectangle shape. In the rectangle shape there will be an eyelet later on and through the eyelet you can choose some string ribbon or in this case I'm going for mummy cloth and I'm going to color the mummy cloth with uh, one or two of the new color Lost Shadow Distress Sprays.
I would like a little bit of a layered effect on the top of the card. So I'm going to put the two things together. So you will have the black craft stock and a layer of a piece of mummy cloth. Just put them together, keep it very nice and simple and staple them down to the top. You can use a regular stapler, but I am using the tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. I am going to add one more little piece to the cards and the snippets, the Tim Holtz snippets are perfect to do so because you have the numbers, maybe some little labels or what I'm doing right here is using the curator pack. I am taking one of those snippets, crumple it up between my fingers and then give it a good rub of a brown ink and then add the snippets to the cards with some collage medium. I hope you liked my playtime with the Distress Lost Shadow Color. If you do like my content, please like, subscribe or comment down below. You can also support my work by becoming a patron of mine. I will put the link in the description box below.